Uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, my name is uh, Mr. Great and uh, I have a fashion show, show tonight. Uh, I'm gonna show my glow in the dark collection and one of my models, Medina, who modeled for me twice, uh, she will uh, premiere tonight as a designer, so she will bring her, her dresses and we have beautiful models tonight for you and uh, hopefully you like the show. Thank you for watching our channel and obviously uh, Akaneli is the uh, the person who I'm so grateful. Uh, this is the place where we met at Skyroom. We filmed quite a bit together. Please subscribe to Akaneli's channel and my channel on uh, YouTube and hopefully you'll like the show. Thank you. Hi, my name is Beth Donnelly. I'm a model and entrepreneur of the entertainment industry. <laughs> How long have you been modeling? About two and a half years now. What made you get into modeling? My brother actually asked me to come to a photo shoot one day just for fun and I absolutely fell in love with it. It's been a great hobby and a, what I'd consider a career from now. <laughs> and tell us some of like the highlights of your modeling so far. I went to New York Fashion Week twice with Pop and Presca and I've also participated in New York Style Fashion Week. Um, my brother, Ken Gray, and Corey Hayes have actually worked together to put together New York Style Fashion Week. I also every year participate in a fundraising event for the Ronald McDonald House, um, known as the annual fashion show for the Ronald McDonald House in Albany, New York. Last year we raised over seven thousand dollars. What's some of your goals you're looking for in the business? Some of my goals are mostly to travel and be happy. As much as I love the modeling industry, as long as I get to travel and have fun and be with such a wonderful environment like this, I'd be happy doing most anything. And other than modeling, what do you do? I'm an audio engineer and lighting technician for Lion's Den Productions. We supply entertainment production um, equipment and the services for most events anywhere from New York to uh, Vermont, Maine, Pennsylvania, and uh, I believe Virginia we've moved to. <laughs> With audio, can you give us some tips in audio? Because right now we're recording your interview, right? Give, us a, give me a little tip. Well, it depends on what you mean. <laughs> tip in what direction. To get better audio with a handheld mic like I'm doing. With a mic, my biggest pet peeve and my biggest um, suggestion would be to keep your mic away from your speakers at all times. The biggest pet peeve I have is live artists walking with their mic around stage and you'll find them getting reverb from the speakers because they don't acknowledge that you cannot walk a microphone against your subs or monitors. So coming back to the acting, tell us some of your goals in acting. I hope to be in commercial acting to start with and then move forward to movies and cinematics. Um, I have a lot of friends and family out in California, so I'm looking to start there. Anything else you want us to know? Um, not very much. I mean, I'm a simple traveler, a gypsy at heart, and I love the industry and what I do. I would recommend it to most. <laughs> And thanks for talking to us. Before you go, can you share your social media with us? You can find me on Instagram under Beth M. Donnelly. That's B-E-T-H underscore M underscore D-O-N-N-E-L-L-Y. Thanks for talking to us. I'm Empress Rose. So are you a model? Yes, I am. So tell us what inspired you to become a model. From birth, I always want to be a model, and now that I'm, my dream is coming through, I'm just taking it one step at a time and aim for the sky. What's the process like um, a day in the life of you be, being a model? I'm going to be honest here, it's not easy, but persistent and determination will get you anywhere you want to go. Tell us some of the people you look up to in, in, in the industry. Like the models? Tyra Banks, of course, Naomi Campbell, 
they're my favorites. <laughs> okay. Tell us some of the steps you take to progress in the industry. First of all, is getting my mind positive and my body. It's all about mental, emotionally, physical. But once your health is good, everything else comes and then you get the clothing, put it all together and put yourself out there. That's Anything you want to share with the people about yourself? I'm Jamaican. I'm a mother of three and I'm a wife. My spouse is here, you know, to uplift me and inspire me. And I'm Jamaican, of course, U.S. citizen. And my dreams has just been started. I'm climbing the ladder to get where I want to go. And with all the people out there, I know somebody will help me to get where I want to go. Great, great. So um, what are you going to be doing tonight? I'll be modeling in the pre-fashion show, New York City Fashion Week, with Mr. Great Fashion um, Show event tonight. Everyone should be out. It's going to be great. Also, I'll be entering Miss Jamaica this year, October the 12th. I would like my fellow ladies and gentlemen to be there participating with me for the crown. You said Miss Jamaica, so tell us the location and so on. Yes, it'd be um, Stage 48 Ballroom, 605 West 48th Street, first floor, New York, New York, 10036. Date and time is Friday, October 12th. 2018 doors open at 6 30 to 11 p.m tickets are online for the miss Dispera model international beauty competition in new york shout out to the empress thank you any final words the final word that i want is just to see somebody could see me for the model that i am and reach out to me that's what i want thank you you're welcome Can you introduce yourself to the people? Hi guys, my name is Michaela Gungoran. I'm 21 years old. So, are you a model? Yes, I am. And today I'm going to be representing some of my mom's beautiful work. So, tell us a little bit about yourself. Anything you want to share with the people? Um, right now I'm going into college. I'm at William Patterson University. I'm going into communication, so hopefully you'll see me on the big screen one day. Oh, so you said communications, right? So. Tell us a little bit about, when you say communication, what aspect in media you want to go into? Journalism. So you'll probably see me in the forecast, like today's going to be sunny, tomorrow's going to be raining. That's going to be me. Now with modeling, tell us a little bit about your modeling. How did you get into the modeling? Um, well, I started as pageants at first when I was younger, and I thought that was the way to go into the fashion industry, and it wasn't. Uh, the pageant world and the fashion world is two completely different things. So, you know, I started going to castings here and there, putting myself on uh, social media like Instagram and Facebook. And then, you know, uh, managers started hitting me up, saying like, hey, listen, I want to meet up with you, I want to make out, and stuff like that. So I was like, yeah, let's go eat or something, and let's have coffee. And then that's how we just started to talk. And then I found my manager that fits my personality. And so far, she's great. So. You said journalism. Like, would you pick? The modeling industry over journalism or which one? I think it correlates in some ways, to be honest. Because if you think about it, in the modeling agency, there's so many communications with photographers, people who do video or, you know, just international as well. So I feel like with that, I have my own connections. And I think I would like to put it more in the journalism as if, like, the fashion industry and more of, like, Alan Show or America's Got Talent or America's Top Model in that aspect. So that kind of ties down to what I'd like to do. So I guess the sky is the limit in that industry. Lots of different fields, right? Yeah, and the communication is uh, something that's broad. It's not just like nursing, which is the like one thing. You know what I'm saying? Communication, you could do anything with anything. And journalism is so broad out, and everyone thinks it's just like a piece of paper and just writing down. But you could do like radio, uh, you can host. So stuff like that, it's, it's pretty interesting if you really like get to know into it. Okay, okay. And we're here in New York City. Tell us like some of the places you've been. In, uh, have you ever traveled? 
Uh, I'm from New Jersey, but I come here to eat a lot. So I love Fry Guys. So shout out to you guys. They're the best fry place ever. Awesome, great fries by the way. You should definitely go there. Um, I like Skyrim a lot as well. It has a beautiful view. Uh, but then after that, I really just go to my boyfriend's house. <laughs> he lives there, and that's pretty much it. That's all really what I go. Or to uh, 42nd Street, on um, to the AMC Theater or Rugo, where they have like the kind chairs. I love movies, so that's where we go. Well, New York is a big place, you know. Like, I don't think you could ever get tired of places to visit in New York. What do you think? Absolutely. I mean, every corner is something different. If you go outside, you can see one girl half naked, and then the next day you can see a grandpa in a thong. So, like, really, it's just, like, two different things, and every day is a different world here. So it's pretty interesting. A day. Tell me, like, a day in the life for you. Or like, a busy day. Give us a busy day, if you give us a rundown, a busy day. A busy day. Uh, it would definitely be during college time. That's when everything is hectic. On a Monday, I would have three classes. So I have class from 11 to 7 p.m. And then I have to go at the restaurant. So in between my classes, I go take uh, my shift at the restaurant, then come back to school, go to school, study, come back, go to the gym, after the gym, study. And then around like 2 o'clock in the morning, that's when I'll go to sleep. So that's my life pretty much every day. <laughs> So I guess a, a life of a college student is very busy, would you say? Yeah, absolutely. It's not easy at all. It's cool, you know, they have it's good and some bads, but it's definitely hectic, for real. Okay. Well, I saw you have some items here. You want to tell us a little bit about it? Sure. Yeah, so each stone has different types of meanings. Uh, this is a lupus, lupus lassi. Everything is made out of stone. So my mom, what, uh, her idea of getting into this stuff was so we can have family bonding. So what we do is every time she has a new idea, we come together as a family and we help each other out. So me and my sister model the clothing and the jewelry. Oh, this is Agatha. Yeah, you can see the camera. Yeah, there you go, cool. And then we have turquoise, which is one of my favorite stones. It relaxes me a lot and it's beautiful. And these stones are all from all over the world, so it's pretty cool. Okay, okay. So how long have your mom been doing this? Uh, right now it was like, okay, so for an, a year and a half it's been a hobby for her. And then as we start wearing it to like shows or events like that, everyone started saying like, oh, who made that? Who is that? And we would tell them like, oh, my mom made it. And they're like, oh, she should definitely like open up a store. So she's like, you know what, from a year from now, if more people want to be involved and they like the jewelry and stuff like that, then we're going to start opening. And she started opening up an online store. Okay, that's good. You want to share the contact? Yeah, so this is the card and it has all the details. You can find us on Instagram, Jewelry Store, Gabriella's Jewelry, and then uh, JewelryGabriella.com. And then for any countries or anything like that, JewelryGabriella at Gmail. What about you? Any um, you want to share your social media? Like yeah, absolutely. Um, my social media is Michaela uh, Gongora, M I K A E L A G O N G O R A underscore T T O. Uh, fun fact: T T O is spelled Team Tips out, and that's the part of my crew. The name arc. My crew is called Team Tips, mm -hmm. and we're above the influence. And yeah. Yeah. Hey, thanks for talking to us. My name is Audra Morales and I'm from New York City, Staten Island to be exact. Okay, so you're here to model tonight? Yes, I am. Okay. So tell us what inspired you to get into modeling. Well, my late father told me that I look like the uh, late actress Natalie Wood and he told me that I should be a model because I'm tall. But I was very skeptical, skeptical about it at the age of eight because I didn't like the idea of wearing makeup and walking around naked. <laughs> but you're giving it a go, right? I was a little girl, yes, but as I got older, I learned that modeling is not about wearing sexy clothes, but it's more about confidence. Definitely. And tell us, what are you going to be doing tonight? So I'm going to be walking for Alexander's show, A Girl's Night Out, and um, we're going to be, I'm going to be walking in some pieces. I'm actually wearing one of his designs. This is supposed to light up tonight, well, but we'll see what happens. I'm a little excited about it. 
Yes, yes. And anything else you want us to know? Again, I was born in New York City, uh, Staten, Staten Island, and um, I'm a licensed cosmetologist, an aspiring actress as well. But my main ambition is to also learn about uh, diet and nutrition because my lo I lost both my parents before the age of 30, and uh, my mother especially had diabetes. So my so my main goal is to make sure that I stay fit, um, exercise, eat right, and learn more about nutrition and how to maintain my health. Very good. Health, health is very important. Yes, 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 it is for sure. <laughs> So if anybody want to contact you, on, on the, are you on social media? I am on social media. You can find me on Facebook as under Audra Morales. And you may also find me on Instagram at Blazing Spunks. Okay, thank you. Thanks for talking to you. Thank you very much. My name is Monica. So you gonna to model tonight? Yes. <laughs> Tell us a little bit about yourself. Oh uh, well, um, I'm a producer also. I produce shows. Uh, my last show was about Art Day celebration, which happened in Golden Palace in Bronze. Um, I also work as a model in New York Fashion Week and Westchester Fashion Week. So tell us, how did you get into being a producer? Producing. Yeah. How did you start producing? Yeah, I'm the, the president of my organization, which is called Strong Women's Community Empowerment. So I produce events. What inspired you to create your organization? Oh, well, um, I'm living here in New York for like 16 years, more than 16 years. Before when I came here, it was like, kind of clean but now everywhere is you know uh, not that much clean people use it through napkins you know uh, empty cups cigarette butts on the road or corner of the parked car so I thought why don't I start an organization and make our area at least our area clean so that inspired me to start an organization and when I produce shows it's always about some reason or about a message like last show was about uh, um, you know how to stop global warming how to recycle you know uh, my models who were walking with the dresses the dresses were made of uh, the can opener so uh, we were trying to let people know how to recycle stuff and use it again and again you said um you said can openers. Yeah. Okay, okay. So I, I was want, I really would like to see how that looks. That looks fabulous. So um, tell us how can we see it? How can because people are curious. How can we see some of your work? I have some pictures. You want to see it? Yeah, thank you. I will appreciate that. Just a second. Wow, very interesting. You know, what, what does it take to put out to get a show like that? It takes a lot of hard work, you know, and passion to get the sponsors. It's a lot of hard work to put together a show. Yeah. Yeah. So if people want to contact you, how can they go about contacting you? They can contact me uh, through my phone number, and also they can contact me by email and Facebook. Oh, okay. Thank you. Anything else you want people to know? Uh, I just want to say that um, please keep our city neat and clean. Stop throwing stuff on the road or under park uh, corner of the parked car. Uh, try to reduce the heat. Try to stop global warming and keep recycling stuffs. That's all. Thanks for talking to us. Thank you so much.
can you introduce yourself to the people? Hi, my name is Mila and I'm a makeup artist in New York. So tell us how did you start in the makeup industry? How did you start? Well, I went to school. No, first I started from Russia and I started working in Mary Kay company um, as a beauty consult consultant and a makeup artist. And then I moved here to New York and I studied in the school, beauty school, Nina Moa, makeup school by Nina Moa. So did you always wanted to be in the makeup industry? Um, yeah, so since I was a little I was studying art school. So and it was it's my passion to I think it's kind of similar what I do right now. It's just makeup and uh, you know paintings <laughs> artistic stuff. So it's like I always been want to be a makeup artist, but I didn't know that time that I can be a makeup artist. Yes. yes. What can a client do to make it easier for you? Well, of course, clean, clean uh, face, clean like the best is ex exfoliate your skin. So the skin would, um, the foundation would lay down perfectly when you exfoliate your skin, exfoliate your skin. So. And yes, be positive and a good mood is the best options to come to makeup artists because your mood, you, we, we are taking your kind of mood. So like, of course, we all like I always happy to do makeup, and I have always passion, enthusiastic, and like to do it, and, and like people like to communicate. But if you would be in a better mood, it would be much easier for me to work with you. You know, like. Yes, that's the best. So you said keep a good keep keep the face clean and a positive attitude. Yes, of course. Yes. And any tips like okay, even as a man, any tips to keep like your skin, you know, keep it looking good naturally. Any tips you can give a man to like keep his skin good? Well, it good, eat healthy food, like vegetables, fruits, it would help your skin to glow, to look good, exercise, drink a lot of water, it would help you to contain, to be beautiful without any makeup, you know? Yes, that's the main point. Definitely. And tell us like some of your goal in the industry, you know, in the industry of makeup, what's your goals? What are my goals? It's um, um, keep doing what I do. Be as um, hold on a sec. Get as more skin skills as I can in makeup industry. Makeup and industry it's always changing. You have to always learn, um, and it's it's good thing. I like to learn, and um, I would like to continue that and um, be. Um, be like how do you say not like be famous <laughs> okay um, work with people work with a lot of people all people are they're so different they're like um, I love to work with people <laughs> yeah you are people person right what is that you are people person you love to work with people yes 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 I love it I love it and um, I always try to see people inside and then I'll figure out what makeup I'm gonna do. You know what I mean? Like every person has different energy, different like, um, I don't know, something different about themselves. And then I figure out like, okay, I feel this person and I wanna do this makeup. Like, yes. Okay, so do you like set the makeup to match the person's personality? Yes, I think that, yes, definitely, yes. Very good. Anything else you want the people to know about you? My name is Mila and I'm from Russia and um, I do makeup. I'm a makeup artist and I do hair too. So how can people contact you if they want to use you as a makeup artist? So they can find me on my Instagram, MUA Westchester. 
and um, they can email me in my email muawithchester at gmail.com so um, I'm freelance makeup artist and I can um, travel to you so it's very comfortable for your clients to come to me to makeup artists to come to clients and yes thanks for talking to us yes my name is Diana Maryakova I'm originally from Minsk Belarus I located in New York uh, travel world as a model and I build websites for living so how do you start modeling um, I was introduced to a lot of photographers and stopped on street and asked to model and um, but I also really enjoy it. Uh, it's very passionate for me modeling because I get to work I get to meet different people and work for different designers and uh, always discover new styles new fashion new looks um, it's very interesting kind of job to do and uh, I feel very passionate about it. So as you said, you're from Belarus. Tell us a little bit about Belarus. Belarus is a tiny country in Europe between Russia and uh, Poland, Ukraine, Ukraine, Latvia, Lithuania. It's only 10 million population and um, all people are tall and white. <laughs> but, um, I mean, that's my home country. So, well, what's your country are known for? You know, everybody is known for something. What's your country really known for? Um, my country is known for beautiful nature, a lot of forests, and um, very organic kind of uh, lifestyle where people eat natural food. Uh, all of our food is organic, and um, we have the highest amount of forests in Europe out of all the other countries. Um, yeah, I think this is like the biggest advantages of visiting my country, enjoying the nature and um, kind of this kind of lifestyle. Let's treat some of your intentions in the modeling industry. Yeah, um, I've been modeling internationally between Asia and America, and uh, I really hope. Um, uh, I can get even further in my career and get to travel even more. So far I've been to over 30 different countries around the world and I used to live in seven of them. Um, I think right now at my point of life my career in web development is, um, is the biggest thing for me but I, I still get to model a lot and um, but I think the greatest experience is to meet different kind of people and also see, have those unique experiences. Very good, very good. Anything else you want people to know about you? Um, I think what makes me unique is that even though I do a lot of modeling, I also have a lot of um, different kind of background. I was a chess prodigy. I played chess professionally for eight years and uh, I love solving problems, uh, do puzzles and, um, and right now for a living I build websites. What's new about building websites? I know the web industry changes a lot, HTML. Did you start in HTML or how do you build websites? Um, so I build websites with HTML, CSS and JavaScript and um, I think what's fresh there are always changes in technology, but the latest trends in designs is being very plain and don't have too many things overlapping. A very simple, uh, nice looking websites. That's, and I think this is, makes sense right now in a lot of, not just like in the web, being very plain, but also in every industry right now, even artists or different kind of designers. Um, they don't go crazy, they go like very simple things, but it looks very nice and beautiful and clean. Oh, it's like the old saying, less is more. You remember that saying, less is more? Yeah. <laughs> less is more. Yeah, yeah. Less is more. People do say that. Yeah, so do you want to share your contact with us if people want to contact you? Uh, I think the best way to reach me is my Instagram, or just by Googling my name, you're going to see a lot of things pop up. I have a Facebook page too, 
Um, try to search online with my name. I'm sure you're going to find me. Um, my name is Diana. It's dot Moryakova. M O R Y A K O V A. Thanks for talking to us. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for having me on this amazing interview. Uh, my name is Veronica, also known as Vero G. Uh, I am a model, plus size model, actress, host, all the good stuff. Yeah. Yeah. That's so, how did you get into the business? Wow. Um, I've been doing it for like over five years now, professionally. And I started one day. Someone said, "You're photogenic, like just taking pictures." And I was like, "You know what? Hey, why try not? Try, try something new." And I started doing the modeling industry after that moment. Okay, okay, okay. And it seemed like you love it, right? Oh yeah, it's you're gonna go through ups and downs, but you, if you have a passion for it, go for it. And I, I'm enjoying every moment as I can, definitely. Yeah, definitely, definitely. So tonight, are you gonna be walking tonight? Yes, I have this amazing outfit. Um, I don't know her. I forgive me her name. I think it's Main J, Main Jean. Uh, she's one of the designers I'm wearing. So definitely gonna see me show this on the outfit tonight on the runaway at Skyroom. Yeah. Oh, very good, very good. Anything else upcoming for you? Oh yes, of course, definitely. I have a couple of events, but I'm also an artist, so um, I'm performing a couple of events on August 18th in the city, also August 31st up in the Harlem. So I have a couple of things here and there, guys, and I have a couple of albums working on this week. So I'm working on a couple of things. I'll keep it. Shh. I'll keep, let you guys know. <laughs> I just said the Harlem. Are you coining that the Harlem? I haven't heard anybody said that. No, I'm just saying. Listen, I represent. I'm from the Lower East Side, so I represent every borough. I'm, I'm, I live in the Bronx as well now, but I, I love every borough as it is. So I show respect, you know, in that sense. So it's okay. Yeah, just a laugh. Yeah. So, anything else you want us to know about you? Sure. Um, you know, you guys know. Like I said, I'm an artist. I do a couple of things here and there. Um, if you guys want to check out my social media, my social media is. Reverb Nation page, Vero G. My artist Facebook page is Vero G. My SoundCloud is long. Veronica Gonzalez 11. Uh, my Twitter handle is VERO2884. Um, and also, if you're going to just book me, you guys book me at my email, VERO2884 at yahoo.com. Thanks for talking to us. You're welcome. Pleasure. And thank you so much for having me on the show. Hi, can you introduce yourself to the people? Hi, my name is Virginia Langoni. Are oh, you going to model tonight? Yes, I am. Here to model for Alexander Gert. Okay, okay, so tell us a little bit about yourself. I'm born and raised in Brooklyn, New York. Come from an Italian Puerto Rican family, and I'm one of nine siblings with no children. Just living my life. Okay, enjoying the life, right? Absolutely, trying to, by the grace of God. So. Tonight you're going to model this outfit. Have you? How long have you been modeling? Um, two years, three years, maybe. What about modeling? Do you like? The, well, I love celebrating creativity. I love celebrating people's passion for what they do and being able to help them bring their passion to life and put it on a runway. I just said you were in Brooklyn, right? Tell us a little bit about Brooklyn. Brooklyn is beautiful and it's getting better every day. We had a rough start. I've lived there some time, but um, I love it. I live in the heart of Brooklyn in East Flatbush, and I get to see all different kinds of people, and I get inspired by everyone there as fashion as well. Yeah, yeah. So, what next for you for here? From here, what next? So, what's next for me is just doing as many shows as I can, uh, helping other people 
you know, show off their designs and uh, maybe eventually having a few designs of my own. Oh, some designs of your own. So, I just said that. What's your inspiration? My inspiration is my family. I actually want to design children's clothing. Like I said, I'm the only one without children and all my nieces and nephews, I love to dress them up. So it'd be beautiful just to design their clothes myself. Oh, that's good, that's good. So we look forward to your designs. Thank you very much. Thank you. Anything else you want us to know? Um, just to all take care of each other, be kind to the person next to you and find a reason to smile every day. Yes, yes. Any contact, any social media you want to share with us? Yes, definitely. You can reach me at sunshine underscore underscore smiles with an S on Instagram. And you can find me on Facebook at V Langoni. That's V E E L A N G O N E. Thanks. So can you introduce yourself? Hi, my name is Paulina. So are you going to model tonight? Yes, I'm going to be the model tonight. Can you tell us a little bit about yourself? Sure. Uh, my name is Paulina. I'm from New York. I do modeling. I do uh, fashion runaway. I also do editorial, commercials, and um, I'm also an actress. And I write poetry. Oh, you said actress and poetry. Which one gives you more inspiration, the acting or poetry? Both, but uh, poetry comes more natural to me. I feel more confident as a writer than as an actress sometimes. Yeah. So you express yourself in writing? Yes, I express myself in writing a lot. Yeah, what's your subject in your poetry most of the time? Um, it is emotions or it is feelings, uh, experiences that I face in my life or it can be anything like a mood or weather. Anything can inspire me. Okay. And living in New York City, I know there's lots of different ways to be inspired. What inspire you about New York? I would say... Um, like sometimes I go to different neighborhoods and different places like you can feel the vibe and the atmosphere makes me feel like I want to write about it, you know. It makes me feel nostalgic or it makes me feel hopeful. So it, it's just the vibe of New York, I guess, different neighborhoods, you know, the nature. Would you say your, your poetry is like a beat or sad? Above. Some sad, some happy, some are hopeful, you know, some are more like analytical, yeah. And then with the acting now, what, what type of acting you you want to do? I want to try everything. I want to try comedy, I want to try drama, I want to try like strong characters, you know. I want to try to play characters that are far from me, you know, something that is different from me, like a personality wise, so I can challenge myself, yeah. Okay, so you love a challenge, right? Yes, definitely. Yes, always. <laughs> and when tonight, you're going to be walking tonight? Yes, I'm going to be walking tonight for two designers. I'm wearing one of her pieces. This is a dress. She also has a, like a fur jacket, but I don't have the jacket on me right now. Okay. Anything else you want us to know? Um, well, um, I'm just very excited for today and, you know, I'm working on different things, different new projects coming up. So, like, I'm building myself and also I'm discovering myself. Any social media you want to share with us? Yeah, so you can guys find me on my Instagram, which is number one, Peach Princess. Or you can also find me on Facebook. My name is Polly Polly on Facebook. Yeah. All right. Thanks. Thanks for talking to us. Uh, thank you. It was so nice being interviewed by you. I appreciate that. Thank you. <laughs> enjoy, enjoy tonight. I will. Thanks.
Hi, can you introduce yourself to the people? In English or Russian? Uh, both? Both, both. My name is Natasha, I'm from Russia. My name is Natalie, I'm from Italy. So my name is Natalie G. I have many last names, but I like to be called Natasha. Okay, Natasha, so tell us a little bit about what you do. I do a lot of things. Tell, ask me better what I don't do. <laughs> oh, that's funny. I, I like someone who like have a good personality, very spontaneous. So, okay, okay. So right now, right, we here at the Sky Room. Tell us what you're going to do. Today I'm going to participate in a fashion show and I think I'm going to win. Okay, okay, that's, you know, confidence is always a good thing. Confidence is always a good thing. So, tell us, you know, your first, can you remember your first fashion show? Okay, when I was 17, I was Miss Harika. When I was 18, I was Miss Ukraine. When I was 19, I was Miss Magic. So, whatever it is, I am Miss. I like to do that. Then I can continue in America. I've been here a long time. Wow, so wherever you are, you're a winner, right? Yeah, otherwise I don't participate. Okay, okay, okay. Well, I guess there's no challenges. There's the, everybody gonna just have to quit and lie down and just, you know, give you the crown. What do you think? Can I do it? Yeah, I, you're the winner. You're the winner. You know, it's like, there's no challenge. Once you, once you enter the room, once you enter the room. You know, the person who wrote my song was actually before famous, then he was not famous. But I wrote the music, I wrote the everything, so I'm gonna, if they let me show, they call, look at my eyes, tell I love you, I wrote this song for you. That's the song I wrote uh, three years ago. And because of the song, one guy got married by love, he got the baby, and the baby 11 months old. So they call the song because it's my song, and they have a baby, so they're happy. So this baby owe his life to you? Right? Yeah, I think so. If not my son, he would not meet the girl. He was married very unhappy for 30 years and then he divorced, lost three million dollars, start from new, and now he's happy with the baby, with the babe, with the girl. Wow, wow, music can take you places. Oh, you Special, right. So that song, uh, I tell you again the words. It's called Love, 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 which in Russian means Lubi. Lubi. And words is like this, look in my eyes and tell I love you. Посмотри в глаза и скажи люблю. Эту песню я для тебя пою. Okay, okay, okay. So, tell us your inspiration. I see that you're a very positive person. You know, you, 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 are beat, you, you can cheer people up just by watching you. So, tell us your inspiration. Inspiration, it's my life. The guy who is with me. Uh, I've been married for 15 years, I divorced one year ago and finally I feel happy. I have a child. So happiness, happiness, you know, once you're happy, you know, things uh, could feel a lot easier in life. Is that true? Yeah. Anything else you want to share with us, you know, because um, you want to put a smile on the people's face out there, anything else? Yeah, i like to share with you my life story. It's been very interesting. Uh, by my life story, one movie been done, it's called Staleta Hills. I've been in a movie Die Hard, Field of Deception, Girls by Girls, uh, Eraser. So I've been around, I know some people. My close friend is Howard Stern. Let's go. Oh, sorry. All right. Alright, so, okay, so tell people how they can contact you. To contact me, please call my attorney. The number is 646-737-8251. 646-737-8251. Thank you.
Uh, thank you for watching our show. Uh, Medina did a great job. This is Thank you so much and uh, please watch uh, Trading Photos by Canelli, it's the best channel on YouTube uh, that I know of. Thank you. job and I'm really truly honored to be here. I appreciate it y'all. If you want to follow my music make sure to check me out at Instagram slash Pyrotechnic21 and follow me on Snapchat at Pyro So Charming. Stay lit. <laughs>